These are the clinical features of subarachnoid hemorrhage. First, the risk factors. Risk factors are hypertension, smoking, moderate to heavy alcohol use, family history, and some pathomimetic drug use. That includes drugs like cocaine and amphetamines. The most common type is a ruptured saccular aneurysm, also called a Berry aneurysm. The signs and symptoms, patients will have severe and sudden onset of headache different from their previous pattern of headaches. Oftentimes it's described as the worst headache of my life. Patients can also have nausea, vomiting, brief loss of consciousness, focal neurologic deficits, or meningismus. Diagnosis is made with a non-contrast CT scan of the head. This is performed initially because it has a high sensitivity early in subarachnoid hemorrhage. If your CT scan of the head is negative and you still suspect subarachnoid hemorrhage, you need to do a lumbar puncture. So this is what you do to definitively rule out subarachnoid hemorrhage if your CT scan is negative. And uh, if you have a subarachnoid hemorrhage on lumbar puncture, you'll see xanthrochromia to confirm the diagnosis. That happens about two hours after onset.